Hey folks, Kyle Forstoff here. Um, I have finally gotten around to trying to make a video that shows the different ways that, uh, that I use the five, seven, and st nine stroke rolls and stuff that we've been talking about for the last couple months. Um, I don't normally do these on a drum this big. This is my Christian Hevichek trout head, um, but it's got a nice big clear surface so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So um, if you guys have seen those PDFs that I put down with the, my different five stroke and exercises and all that, I'm going to be referring to that kind of stuff and I've got it up here on my computer. So, uh, so you guys might want to pull those up and check those out. Um, the first two patterns are very simple. Um, basically a five stroke roll is five notes at any one speed. So um, the first two patterns on that page are both examples of single stroke, singled five stroke rolls basically. So um, the ba most basic one would be down, up, down, up, down. And then the opposite, up, down, up, down, up. Right, and so that's where, those are the two examples, uh, numbers one and two there on your sheets. Um, the next three examples are the, of the five stroke rolls are the three that I think that are most important. Um, for what we've been talking about. And uh, the way that I've named them is based on what stroke they start with and what stroke they end with. So we'll do all three of them and I'll talk about different ways to practice them and approach them and that kind of stuff. Um, I guess the first one we'll start with is the one that everybody kind of knows because Eamon Murray does this one a whole bunch. Um, this is the one that I call the down down because it starts with a down stroke and ends with a down stroke. So the stroke sequence for the five notes is down, down, top or back, up, down. So down, down, top, back, down. Um, this one is particularly tricky because it has the fast sixteenth note double down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a couple of different ways to. Uh, to work on it. Um, I consider this one more than the other two that we'll talk about to be sort of a true hybrid because it combines both the double down techniques and the double ended triplets that we've been talking about. So start by playing a nor normal real rhythm and, uh, and put a d normal double ended triplet at the end. So. sense. Now keep that same triplet rhythm at the end but we're going to change the sticking to a double down so we're going to go real rhythm and then at the end the last triplet is going to be down down up down. So you can see down down up down at the end. This technique kind of combines those two. So you're going to have the double down and the double ended triplet. But still in the space of a triplet, we're going to get four notes now. sense. Um, the way that I normally use that, I don't use that one horribly often, even though Eamon uses it a lot. Um, the way that I use it the most 
is to rise up to a pop on beat four. So I'll show you on this drum and then I'll, and then I'll pull up my other drum and actually show you kind of in context how I use it. So. So I think it works good for that. Um, you can also use it to drop down to a bass tone on the downbeat. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video there so that these don't get 10 and 15 minutes long and then we'll, uh, and then we'll do the next one. Alright, see you in a second.